Montana. Just say the word Montana and your mind will conjure up images of rugged snow-capped mountain peaks. Vast vistas of unspoiled mountain ranges that have stood as sentinels for millions of years over glacier-carved valleys. wildlife in their natural habitat and unexplored wild open spaces. And clear water mountain streams, home to some of the best fresh water trout fishing found anywhere. A place where you can disconnect from your daily lifestyle and reconnect with what's really important in life. Welcome to Triple J Wilderness Ranch in Augusta, Montana. A dude ranch vacation is not simply a destination with activities. And at the Triple J Ranch, surrounded by total tranquility and the natural pristine beauty of the Lewis and Clark National Forest and the Bob Marshall Wilderness, you'll discover how beneficial an authentic Western ranch vacation can be. You'll disconnect from your normal lifestyle and discover the really important things in life, like family and friends and unspoiled natural beauty and a world of wildlife you probably only read about. Whether you drive or fly into Great Falls Airport, the ranch is easily accessible from anywhere in North America. On arrival, you'll find a peaceful oasis of serenity and calm. And many guests who have come year after year often say, it feels just like coming home. You'll settle into comfortable, clean, and well-appointed cabins spread out throughout the aspen trees. And with a guest capacity of about 20 guests, it allows them to provide personalized and gracious service, and you'll soon become friends with guests from all over the country and the world. The cabins are warm, rustic, and comfortable with down comforters, lots of pillows, mini refrigerators, complimentary coffee and tea, herbal toiletries, hair dryers, luxurious bathrobes, a welcome basket of fruit and snacks. and a wood stove stocked daily with wood to take the edge off those wonderfully cool and crisp Montana nights.
mornings, you can sit on your front porch with a steaming cup of hot coffee and take in the natural beauty all around you. Now I ask, does it get any better than this? For well over 40 years, the Barker family has owned and operated and shared their dude ranch and passion for the land with guests from all over the world. Beginning with Max and Ann Barker, who purchased the ranch in 1976, it now plays host to guests with second generation Kim and Ernie Barker, and carrying it into the future will be their daughter Haley and son-in-law Trey. For the ranch, their hallmark for well over 40 years has been great service and exceptional hospitality. Triple J Ranch was homesteaded in 1920 by a fellow named Rudolph Dwight. He uh, proved it up, so it was a, a land grant, 160 acres, and over time he and his daughter uh, started a hunting and fishing lodge and it continued to be that all the way through the uh, 60s so quite some time several several folks came in and the ranch was was sold and bought again uh, two times and then my parents who were raised in the midwest came here in the mid 70s and they had visions of making it into a family dude ranch and sharing it with folks all over the country, all over the world. And we've got uh, 19 folks here enjoying the week, which is a standard uh, average number of, of people. Uh, primarily here this week, interested in the horseback riding with a few folks uh, interested in fly fishing and doing some trap shooting, doing some hiking, that sort of thing. So we pride ourselves on our ranch because we really offer a, a small feel, um, a general authentic vacation for people. Um, we really get to know our guests. Um, they, they come here as strangers and leave as friends and I think that's really neat. Well I think that you get to meet new people from other areas of the world, come here for, you know, to enjoy quiet time. And, bond with their horse and you know that then they can leave here with um, friends that they met here um, and you know they a lot of people continue those relationships you know years after meeting each other here at the ranch there's a lot of different uh, I guess good things about coming and enjoying a ranch I think that there's so much beauty um, that the West has that many people don't ever get to see. It's so wide open and especially this area, people always comment about just those big wide open spaces and those big blue skies and, and you can't really put that into words until you're here and you experience it and especially I think by horseback, it's it just, you listen to the birds, you feel the wind, you just feel it all and, and it really touches you and I guess that's what we hope that each person has that peace and that they they can just feel that in the world and maybe they're changed. One of our goals here is to give folks an opportunity to see different landscapes from riding and hiking in the mountains, spectacular vistas, to overlooking the prairie on foothill rides, uh, as well as pretending that they're in an old John Wayne Western and riding the prairie where there's no trails, no nose to tail, but a rip. The Lodge is the gathering point for your weekly meals and entertainment. It's time to eat. Hey, 
The chefs in the kitchen delight in dazzling your palate with each meal. Everything is prepared fresh from scratch using the best locally sourced ingredients and prepared with passion for well-balanced meals. Our basic goal here is to provide wholesome meals uh, that kind of lend itself to the Western fare uh, of cuisine. Uh, being from the South, we make sure everyone eats well, eats a lot. Uh, we like to put a twist, a little flavor into our food, uh, maybe from back home, you know, introducing to the West a little bit, but still keeping in tradition what happens out here out West. We do cater to special diets, uh, if we know in advance. Another thing I think is neat about the Triple J is uh, we do use local beef and beef, uh, local products, uh, our pork, uh, honey. our local honey. Uh, we cook a lot, marinades with honey, uh, the ribs that everybody likes. Uh, but I think that's kind of neat to, when people come from all points in the United States, from the Northeast or, or even abroad, they like a little taste of Montana. And that's what we try to get. I focus on the breads and the desserts and pretty much all of our bread uh, is handmade by me, uh, desserts as well. So um, from scratch, I don't use packaged stuff. I really don't care to. It can be done. It's not that much harder to do it by hand. That's true with our entrees and everything. Yeah, uh, we, everything we do. We use a lot of uh, our own recipes. We put our own mm -hmm. flair to it. We have ranch recipes. Yep. Uh, that Kim Kim's got some great Barker recipes. Barker hat. Yeah. Um, but we put our own little twist, and she kind of gives us the reins uh, to do so. Yeah. And uh, we find some interesting products. Uh, in fact, out here are choke cherries trees, and I make choke cherry jam when yep. it's in season. And uh, that's kind of fun. So yeah. there's, a little, there's something from the ranch in our food. Yeah. We have fun. And we play off each other. Oh, you know? yeah. It's like, I uh, mean, I wait until I see his menu or what he's doing for the day. Then I try to make the dessert match. Right. Like your salad had pecans. So I try to, you know, add pecans dessert. That kind of stuff. You know, it's just. And the other night fun. we had the, the salmon with the hollandaise and the asparagus and stuff like that. But he bounces off me of a particular item he's going to do, I said, no, I've got too much spice, too much of this going yep. on, it's going to get lost. Yep. So there's a lot of communication in there, yeah. and it's fun, and we laugh back there. We, yeah. uh, uh, we just have a great, great time. We work together well, at least 90% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> and again, that's we want our guests to leave here with uh, an experience, and we want to think that we have some of the best food around. Uh, we're pretty proud of what we do, yep. um, uh, but we, we want our guests to walk away and, and remember our food and what we've done here. And after dinner, you can gather around a campfire, tow some s'mores by the fishing pond, and perhaps learn to line dance with the staff and guests. Two We're steps back, one step right. forward, Which one step right? back, left, kick, do it again. Out in the country, past the city limits sign, when there's a honky tonk in every county line. Wait, what, the John stars bumping every place. night when the sun goes down. No, now we're off beat. They got whiskey, women, music, and smokes. Is where all the cowboys go down the boot scoop boogie. And while we're talking about fishing, Montana offers some of the best clear water fishing experiences to be found anywhere. For beginners, they can start at the ranch fishing pond, and more experienced anglers can select from many rivers and streams found in the area. And in no time, you'll be reeling in cutthroat trout, rainbows, and brown trout, making it one of the most memorable fishing experiences you can find anywhere. And one thing you'll never hear your kids say at the Triple J Wilderness Ranch is, I'm bored. 
as the ranch has plenty of activities they've probably never done before, like horse painting, where the kids can decorate their favorite horse with their own creative designs. And after the decorations are completed, the kids can head out with their Wranglers for a leisurely trail ride through the Montana mountains. How about trying your hand at skeet shooting, where you can test your skill knocking clay pigeons out of the air on the ranch's shooting range. You'll receive safety instruction and guidance on how to follow and knock the targets out in midair. like to hone your skills with bow and arrow, then notch a few arrows on the archery range with your family and friends. How would you like to fall asleep at night to the sound of a babbling brook? You know, that sounds a, a little cliche, but it's absolutely true. Um, a babbling brook instead of sirens and, and horns honking and that sort of thing. And one thing I've noticed where we are here in Montana, where I'm from, is when you look at the sky at night, there's millions of stars that you just can't see anywhere else. And there, there's wildlife, there's great people, uh, there's a breeze, there's beautiful mountain scenery you've, you've never seen before. And I, and I know people have all, always seen that, but especially in this world where you, you have to go and decompress and, and it takes two or three days before you can uh, get used to not living with your cell phone because there's no service in the first place. And so it's, uh, it, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful part of the world. And there's, there, there's nobody around. There's no people. There's horses. There's great hosts that, that take care of you 24-7. And the mountains are unbelievably spectacular and breathtaking. Glacier Park-ish. As a matter of fact, we're, we're just south of the Rocky Mountain Front from Glacier Park. So we get a lot of... Uh, that great scenery, but you, you get away, you breathe the, the fresh air. I don't want to sound like a commercial, but my goodness, it's it, it's so true. The fresh air, uh, there's a pond right back there. And uh, when I drove in today, I got to go look at that crystal clear. There wasn't a breath of wind. You could see the rainbow trout swimming in that pond, just waiting to be caught. So you, you have to be here to experience it. You can hear everything you want to know on TV or radio or social media, but it is a taste of heaven. If you've come for horseback riding, well, partner, you've come to one of the most beautiful spots in North America to trail ride. If it's been a while since you've been on a horse, not to worry. The ranch has over 60 horses and will match you up with one well suited to your riding ability. But before you mount up, you'll receive a thorough safety orientation, so you'll enjoy your riding experience all that much more. 
and the horseback riding, well, it's just spectacular. You'll ride up to vantage points such as Wedding Hill, The Hannon Overlook and Sawtooth Ridge. With the all-day rides, you can venture to Clearwater Mountain Streams, tie up your horse for a while, and enjoy lunch listening to the sounds of rushing water. Slip off your boots and soak your feet, or try your luck skipping stones across the river. You your horse, good friends, surrounded by natural beauty that has been here for millions of years. Does it get any better than that? And if you're ready for some spirited competition, try your hand at team penning, where each week the guests can match wits with the varsity team of cows, trying to herd and maneuver selected cows into an enclosure. It's not as easy as it looks. And for the cows? Well, let's just say this isn't their first rodeo. Yeah, let's go. There you go. All right, there you go. Cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. Cut them But whether the cows win or the guests win, everybody enjoys this competition. The surrounding Bob Marshall Wilderness is considered the crown jewel of America's wilderness system, and you'll get to experience all that it has to offer. And if you really want to get into the backcountry and wilderness areas, 
consider coming from one of their wilderness pack trips where the only access is by horseback with a mule train to carry all the camping and food supplies you'll need. Flip the tarp over. Same on the other side. Ernie demonstrates for the guests how to properly pack, tie, and load supplies for the mules to carry. With another kind of a loop through a loop. Their fully guided horseback trips are designed to accommodate all levels of riders through this magnificent, unspoiled country where the only way to travel in is on foot or by horse. If you've never been on a dude ranch vacation, one thing you'll notice is that many of the guests return year after year. There's an intangible quality about the ranch that just resonates with people, as one guest explains. Uh, I just love it here. It's gorgeous. The riding is great. And Kim and Ernie are really special people. They, they are great with details and they have wonderful horses. Horses look like they came out of a picture book. The air is different here. It's just clean and fresh and cool. I just love it here. I remember once getting off the airplane in Great Falls and saying, oh, it's so good to be home. And then I thought, what? <laughs> Why did you say that? And it is like home here. It's like coming home. So that's what I love about it. And it's like detoxifying your mind, filling your soul and your heart with beauty. Uh, you might have an acre of pain once in a while, but it doesn't detract from how beautiful this place is. And at the end of the day, you might see the horses running out to their night pastures. A spectacular sight everyone will enjoy each time you witness it. you're ready to break away from the daily grind and surround yourself with unspoiled natural beauty. If you're ready to enjoy comfortable accommodations and exceptional cuisine. If you're ready to reconnect with the important things in life, such as friends and family, and find peace and tranquility like you've never experienced before, well then, gather up your friends or family and head to Northwest Montana for the vacation and experience of your lifetime. We'll see you at the Corral. Hey folks, what's the best dude ranch in North America?